Entry level job opportunities and career progression. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. And in today's video, I've been asked a question about career progression, and we will get to that shortly. But first, I just want to tell everybody that we've been approached by Aries Resources, who is a mid tier mining producer, who have taken a fair few people that have done the sponsors training and they're interested in taking more people that have done the sponsors training so this is just a quick shout out so if you've completed the training and you want to apply for a nipper or a truck job then the email link to apply directly to them is now in this what's next page which is part of the australian mining seminar so if you click on that page now you'll find a link to apply directly to them for nipper and truck roles and also there's a link there as well to the mining jobs to apply for page and if you've been applying for these jobs anyway um, on this page you will see that a lot of these jobs we link back to some of the jobs that you can apply for directly with Aries resources because Aries um, own Round Oak as well so that's that one and if we move on to the question of the day is cactus he got himself a job and he's had a few questions and this is a really good question uh, hey mate could you do a video on the progression through the ranks um, how what time it takes to move up the ranks etc uh, he's done a couple of swings and seen a guy on charge up for eight years down the whole experience and another guy on charge up only after a year so what's the difference what's going on Basically, it depends on where you start to how it all goes. So at the moment, because there's so much movement in the industry and there's so much opportunity and their minds reopening everywhere and, you know, there's no people around that know what they're doing, they're having to push people through and that's where you get guys that are being on charge up after a year. Same sort of thing happened when I first started. There was a, a big boom on then and they pushed a whole heap of people through for a good 18 months and then it stopped. Now, with the guy that started eight years ago, with eight years um, down the whole experience, he probably started around that 2013, 2014 area of time. And that's when the arse basically fell out of the industry. So he probably got on as a truck driver and then he probably spent three years, maybe even four years driving a truck. So it's not necessarily your fault if you get stuck in a position like that. It's not to say that anybody's better or worse than anything else. It's just often just a matter of circumstance. So if you're listening to this, you're probably thinking downturn. And so we had probably one of the biggest downturns we've ever had in the industry between the end of 2013 and the start of 2016. It's turned around a lot since then. But a lot of people left the industry because, you know, a lot of stuff shut. Nickel mines in particular, because nickel, nickel went back down to about 6,500 US a tonne, which just made, didn't make it profitable to mine. So they just shut up all the nickel mines, which they're now reopening and which is causing all this panic to get people up to speed. But that's why you've got the difference. And it's not, like I said, it's no big deal. It's just the way it is. And I hope that answered your question. And well done on getting the job too, Cactus. It's um, good to see that you're progressing well. And so, like I said before at the start of the video, if the, you want to have a crack at getting into mining, then the sponsors Intro to Underground Mining DIY course, it's only $495. And once you finish it, and just make sure you study. There's lots of places that'll um, look at you. I should say that applying for the job with Aries Resources is not a guarantee of a job. It's that they just they've taken a fair few people and they like the training, they like the people how the people are coming through it and they want to take more. You've still got to meet their other requirements and as long as you can do that then yeah there's there's good opportunity there but there is good opportunity there from all the companies that are listed on our mining jobs to apply for page. And you can see there's heaps around, you know, that's McMahon's new to underground. They want nippers in New South Wales. Entry level, that's Barminko. New traineeships, that's Pry Bar in New South Wales. There's just so much going on around the place. And if you can show them that you've prepared yourself, then you can put yourself on the inside track to getting yourself into a really good career like lots of other people have. So I hope you found that information helpful. And if you've got any more questions about getting into the mining industry, please send them through. And if you've already done the training and you want to apply for the nipper and truck jobs through Aries, just go back to the seminar on the back page and follow the link. 
Thanks.